Thanks a lot, Jake. Yeah, see you later, Good afternoon, Charles. See you, uh, Charles. Uh, oh, right. We could do it that way. We could run the, the two minutes I'm free. I'm 40 minutes late. So okay, we'll go fast. Okay, now, excuse me, about 10 days ago, uh, I was I had a little confrontation with the, the goons of the security. So, uh, Margaret and Blaney, I was going to ask you, but you got lucky. I was distracted. What do you say to people that don't agree with this political appointment? Look, uh, there will always be people that don't agree. Uh, Margaret Ann Blaney uh, has uh, served the, the people of Rosse and the province very well over the last 13 years. No question about it. She's been a very good uh, uh, constituency MLA and uh, minister. She's been an advocate for things like pay equity as an example of violence against women. And we've seen real changes take place on, on mm. with her leadership. Uh, if we look at efficiency, New Brunswick, and and the role Elizabeth Weir, and the role that Elizabeth Weir, uh, uh, you know, she was appointed by uh, Premier uh, Bernard Bernard Lord yeah. when she was a member of the legislature. The leadership that she provided with efficiency, New Brunswick, over the last uh, number of years has really taken that agency forward, and I have full confidence that Margaret Ann will uh, take her experience, her communication skills to again be a real advocate for uh, conservation in our province. Now talk to me here. Listen, if you were leader of the opposition, you would have complained about this appointment, right? Look, uh, people will complain, and that's ultimately uh, uh, not for me to say whether it's right or wrong. It's for me to try to make as good a decisions as I can as an example. You know, uh, uh, before there were somewhere around 24 ministers in cabinet with the previous Liberal government. Today we have 14. Okay. okay. So we've seen a very significant reduction number of ministers. Uh, it, with the uh, deputy ministers within government, uh, there were 30. There, right today uh, there are 24. So we're doing everything we can to continue to be as efficient, uh, efficient as possible. Uh, to provide a better level of service uh, in in new ways, and we'll continue to do that. One last point. Uh, I know you have to go. Uh, what, is slow news day. Uh, you and Stephen Harper sleeping the same bed together. Uh, no. EI and all that. Was it slow news day? No, or what's look, going on? Uh, I know if it's there, bad, you're going to speak up. There, there are legitimate. Are there are legitimate concerns that people have about what are the impacts on our uh, on our people on our seasonal industries, whether that be our employees or employers. We've said that we've got concerns. The reason we've got concerns is not all of the information is out there yet. So uh -huh. to make a decision whether it will have a positive or negative effect, uh, it's too early. That's why we've appointed a, a committee or a team of uh, the lead deputy ministers from post-secondary education and labor and economic development, the premier's office and intergovernmental affairs uh, to get the necessary information which will allow us to make recommendations if if uh, and as we believe it'll have negative effects. If it's so, too harsh you are going to speak out. Oh well we've been speaking out yeah. already. You okay. know, the the, uh, the uh, minister of, or the member from uh, Shediac is being disingenuous Just if he nervous. would say that uh, we're supporting it. What we've said is we've got concerns we need more information uh, to, to ensure that uh, our economy will continue to be uh, able to go forward. What we're doing as well though, what he doesn't want to talk about is we've come forward with a new economic development strategy which will allow us to better position ourselves going forward. Uh, strategy on innovation again which will allow us to be more productive in the future as well. Thank you very much.